Vaccination day at a rural health center. It's also an opportunity to warn mothers about HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, and to check any children that might be infected. More than two million children, most of them in Africa, need urgent treatment for HIV. There are cheap and effective medicines, but almost three quarters of children who need treatment are not getting it. And each year, tens of thousands continue to die. Children were marginalized right from the beginning of the HIV epidemic. We have uh, communities, hard to reach communities, who have no modern facilities. The dilemma we face is that in the past, these communities have been left to die. Children were in such communities without laboratories have been left to die. This situation is unacceptable. Today, doctors publishing results of a major clinical trial in The Lancet say they have shown how treatment could be made simpler and cheaper. This would allow more children to be treated with the limited money available in Africa. What ARO has shown is that children in resource-limited settings in sub-Saharan Africa can take antiretroviral therapy safely and the benefits from taking the drugs far outweigh any risks that would develop. Most children with HIV were infected at birth. Without ARVs, many babies will die in the first two years, and few children will reach their teens. In wealthy countries, children taking ARVs also get regular routine blood tests. They are used to check for side effects or see if the drugs are failing. In which case, doctors can switch to alternative medicines. The trouble is that these tests are expensive, eating into budgets, and they require sophisticated laboratories not available in rural Africa. Now, the results of the ARO trial have shown that, in fact, expensive routine laboratory tests offer very little or no extra benefit to children on ARVs. We actually do not have to worry about routine laboratory monitoring in children, because those children who were monitored clinically did as well as those children who were having laboratory tests. The trial followed more than 1,200 children for four years in Zimbabwe and Uganda. It found that children who were monitored in a much simpler way did extremely well. Instead of using lab tests, the children had simple routine checkups with a doctor, which could easily be done by a properly trained and supervised health worker. A weighing machine and tape measure, already standard equipment at health centers, turned out to be almost as good as a sophisticated laboratory at showing whether treatment was still working or not. That was one of the biggest findings. Weight and height were very, very important to detect when a child was failing. They would stop, they would stop growing. And that we found when we opened up the results that that was one of the markers for those children that were switched clinically that all of them, majority of them, were switched because of failure to thrive. And the researchers found the laboratory tests used to detect side effects had no extra benefit at all. These only registered results when children were already showing symptoms. In fact, we found that uh, for those few children that, had, that we detected through the lab, that even the doctors or even any trained health worker could easily have picked all those small side effects that they had. I have the honor to present the final results of the DART study. 
The ARA results closely mirror similar research done in adults, showing that clinically driven monitoring is safe and effective. Yet, many treatment guidelines in Africa still call for expensive routine laboratory monitoring, simply because it is normal practice in wealthy countries. This takes scarce resources away from rolling out universal treatment. The researchers say their results show the top priority to save lives must be to get ARVs to everyone who needs them. To insist on routine lab tests in Africa is to, in practice, deny life-saving medicines to millions of people, either because there are no labs where they live or because resources are too stretched to treat everyone. The study findings need to be widely known by policymakers. It is not acceptable to deny treatment to children in rural areas or hard to reach areas on the pretext that there are no modern laboratories. We need to prioritize rolling out antiretroviral therapy for children and adolescents without the main worry of uh, monitoring. Laboratories are needed and we need them, but these can be developed uh, in a time while children's lives are being saved. We seem to have been fronting monitoring first before roll out. But I am, I am actually saying that we need to front initiation, we need to front massive rollout, so that all those children who require ART can get it. As you clap, down and up, down and up. The good news is that the ARA trial showed that children given HIV treatment in Africa do extremely well. Many who join the trial now belong to clubs where they help each other out. After four years, almost all are healthy and able to enjoy life to the full. The trial showed that the benefits of putting children onto ARVs far outweigh the potential dangers. Doctors hope that this new research will help give the same opportunity to the million and a half other children who urgently need treatment. Oh,